let's just say, for example, that I want to replace every tom, every snare hit with a tom, or that I'll just I'll just use a tom as an example. Um, so let me make another track here, um, and then I'll assign the output of that track to my raw tracks, and look at that a little bigger, and. Um, just gonna kind of skip over these flams for now because you might handle those a little differently. But just as a few backbeats here of, of uh, snare, I'll just do the same thing that I did when I was editing toms, where I'm in. I have my uh, keyboard shortcuts turned on, tab to transient is turned on, and I'm just tabbing over to the beginning of the transient of each snare head. Okay. Um, then actually, I'm gonna put this track up above that. Okay. And then I'm just gonna say. I've already edited these tom things, so I'm just going to pretend that this is a, a snare sample that I that I recorded after the session. I, co I just copied this rack tom, pasted it up there, and let's um, let's actually uh, make this a little bit bigger. It's actually going to be easier to edit a large or to move around a, a larger segment. So um, I'm grabbing the the rack track, and I'm going to hit um, Alt Shift three which is a shortcut for consolidate region. So now I have um, this sample up here, which is you know a tom track, but let's pretend it's a snare, and I want to align it with this region. So I'm going to click on this region, and then uh, control click, and it will snap the um, beginning of my tom sample region to the same position as that, OK? And then now I have uh, one of two ways that I can um, also apply this to all the other regions. Let me, let me actually make a few more regions. I'm, I'm kind of just going to pretend this snare is not a flam and not worry about how we handle that. So we have a few to deal with here. Um, and uh, I can now either, I think it's control option, click on this, and it will snap a copy of this region lined up with that. Um, the other thing I can do is I'm just going to remove that for now and uh, sort of bring this back out to its original size. Okay, the other way that I can do this if I have a lot of these to do that's a little faster is um, it's been a while since I've done this, so bear with me if I mess up. Um, I'm going to grab that. I'm going to copy. So in, in Pro Tools, I can just press C to copy, but I can also do it as an edit copy. Or maybe it's Apple C. Um, I think it's just C. Okay, so I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to turn off tab to transient. So now when tab to transient is turned off as I tab, it will not follow the transients, but it will just tab to the beginning of the next region. Okay? So I'm going to tab to transient, and then I'm going to shift click my, um, my triggered track. And now when I tab over to the next one, it's tabbing over on both my original snare track and my trigger track. Then I can press V, and it will paste the uh, copied um, snare trigger onto the new track. And now at this point, I can just keep doing tab V, tab V, tab V, tab V, uh, all the way to the end of the song if I'm re replacing every hit. Um, or if it's just a, a section where I'm replacing every hit, I can just keep doing tab V, tab V, tab V. Um, if you want to have any variance in the tones, like if you want to have like left hits and right hits, like you got to do that a little bit more manually. But if there's just like a segment where you want a bunch of identical hits, like in the case of a, a double bass section, you might want to do this. Um, or um, you know, double bass sections more than likely you're you know doing some kind of super perfect recording technique and you're on a grid and you can just say like oh, eighth notes grid and just <laughs> make it all happen. But uh, that's this is one way to without any kind of uh, triggering plug-in application to just manually place a bunch of samples that's, uh, that goes relatively quickly.